welcome to a blustery Memorial Stadium here in Champaign, Illinois, as we get set for a Big Ten matchup between number 24 Michigan and Illinois. These two teams combined for 132 points last year, 67-65. Michigan won in triple overtime. Tucson gets through. Tucson has some running room. Fitz Tucson at the 25, and he gets taken down at the 15-yard line. Shupo, Sonny, and Tavon Wilson finally drag him down after a pickup of 65 yards. All right, this is just zone blocking. It's nothing special about it, and Illinois linebackers get lost in the shuffle inside. A nice job of Tucson hitting the hole. This is why Tucson's been given the ball. He He's become a lot more electrifying in the big plays that he brings, running extremely hard. Big boost for this offense. First and 10 from the 15, it's Tucson again. Why not? Cuts it back. Tucson down at the eight. Now in is Vincent Smith in the backfield. It's Denard Robinson on his first run. Robinson to the end zone, touchdown. Nine-yard touchdown run for Robinson. Four plays, 80 yards, the big 65-yard run by Fitz Tucson. And Denard Robinson caps it off with a nine-yard touchdown run. Yeah, I think this here, now I want to show you what's happening with the linebackers in Illinois. They've got to find a way to get to the quarterback. Up top here, you're going to see the ball carrier come in and block almost like a design quarterback run not a lot of not a lot of reading there it's a quarterback draw and you've got to have safety support against denard robinson that's that plus one that you hear defensive coordinators talk about all the time it's a nightmare because the quarterback is the tailback and that's an extra blocker back there that's helping out so first and 15 play action shieldhouse he will run it and Shieldhouse able to break away from one tackle, gets back to the line of scrimmage and maybe picks up a yard. Shieldhouse, the quick pass, incomplete, looking for A.J. Jenkins. J.T. Floyd on the coverage, able to knock that one away. In Champaign, Michigan leads 7-0. Shieldhouse forced out of the pocket, in some trouble, tries to get rid of it, just throws it away. A quick three and out forced here by Michigan on defense. Mike Martin applying the pressure. Fitz Tucson in the backfield on first and ten. Robinson, play action. The quick pass. Complete to Gallant. Good pass protection. Finds a man wide open. Junior Hemingway. And Hemingway has the first down. Up the 31-yard line, a pickup of eight. Akeem Spence brings him down. First and ten. Tucson back in the game. Low snap. The handoff is to Tucson. Tucson cuts it back. And Fitz Tucson's going to be marked down at the 40, about a yard shy. Steve Hall with the tackle. It's the handoff. Huge hole for Tucson. The first down and much more. Tucson up to the 32-yard line of Illinois. Steve Hall with a tackle, a 25-yard run. So he's had a 65-yard run and a 25-yard run, and he's over 100 yards here in the first quarter. Yeah, wa now watch, watch the center. Watch what happens here with your center. Look at the blocking, the pickup, the movement that took place inside by Illinois. And David Molt, the center, was able to find that linebacker, wasn't confused, pushed him right out of the way. Michael Shaw now in the backfield. It's the handoff to Shaw, and Shaw up to the 28-yard line. Two tight ends in on second and five. And Denard Robinson keeps it, and Robinson pushes that pile. Let's see where they mark him. The ball comes loose, a flag comes out, and they say Illinois has recovered. Let's see what this flag is for. There's no foul on the play. Ball will recover by Illinois. First and ten. This defense had to pick up their offense. First turnover of the game. Oh, 
Shearhouse. Looking for the crossing route for A.J. Jenkins, incomplete. Look at his safety help in the middle of the field back here. He's the guy that's watching A.J. Jenkins, making sure he doesn't get the one-on-ones that they're looking for. The handoff to Jason Ford. Ryan Van Bergen, Mike Martin can bomb the tackle. Another three and out forced by this Michigan defense. And the Boo Birds are already out here at Memorial Stadium for the Illini. Justin Duvernois to punt again. Gallon back deep, standing his own 30. Takes at the 28. Gallon has some room up the middle. Gallon across the 45, up to the 41-yard line, a 31-yard return. Great field position here from the 41 of Illinois. The handoff to Tucson. And Tucson up to the 36-yard line. Robinson up the middle. Denard Robinson dives forward up to the 25-yard line. A pickup of 10. Another first down here for Michigan. Michael Shaw in on first down. The handoff to Shaw. And Shaw breaks a tackle. Shaw gets wrapped up by Steve Hall. Another tackle by the secondary for this fighting Illini team. Ball on the 18-yard line of Illinois. Tucson in the backfield with his fullback, Hopkins. And off to Tucson. Tucson's got the first down. Still on his feet as he gets the 10-yard line. Tucson again. And Tucson still going, still going. And finally, Tucson goes down at the three-yard line. It's Robinson again, easily into the end zone. His second touchdown run of the game. David Malt again opens up that lane for Robinson. You know, I was talking about earlier how this Michigan offensive line is just using their fannies to seal and to create the running lanes. I mean, Denard Robinson, he gives them the best chance to convert on third down, fourth down in this red zone area down here. That's, I like that a lot more than I do him trying to throw it. Shieldhouse, the pump fake, looking for Jenkins down the sideline. Jenkins could not get by his defender, J.T. Floyd. It's Shieldhouse on the zone read keep. And Shieldhouse gets back to the line of scrimmage. On that last play, though, with Shieldhouse. The pass across the middle. It is complete. A.J. Jenkins again. Robinson looking to pass. And it's hauled in. Junior Hemingway goes up to grab it, brings it down. 15-yard completion. They convert again on third down. Uh, this is moving the pocket, trying to give some opportunity for Denard Robinson to get outside. Watch his footwork, how he gets his feet around. That's a nice job. That's Al Borges working with him, really working on getting him around. And then Hemingway getting lost in the traffic, going to the outside, turning ball, being on time right where it's supposed to be. Robinson under center. Play action again, pump fake, Robinson taking a chance down the sideline to his tight end, Koger. Koger being dragged down as he'll be marked down. And around the three yard line. So Illinois is trying to get in there and they're trying to put pressure on Denard Robinson, whether it's a run and or a pass. And it's a nice job of Kevin Koger kind of getting lost, he was in motion. And, and if you're not going to get to Denard Robinson and you're going to have the single coverage on the outside, that's a big mismatch there. Six foot four going against someone who's 5'10". Five, uh, five I mean, it just That's a win for the offense. Robinson drops back to pass. He has a lane to run if he wants. Robinson dives towards the pylon. And it's a touchdown. The question is, did he step out while he was trying to make that dive? 
After further review, the runner stepped out of bounds before he broke the play in the goal line with the ball. Ball replaced at the one yard line. Fourth down. You gotta, you've got to understand your, off, your offensive line's done a nice job so far in this game. Empty set here. He becomes the tailback now. It'll be the run by Denard Robinson. Robinson, a low snap, and Robinson gets hit back at the four. Michael Buchanan, and Illinois answers defensively. Shieldhouse guess who he's looking for. A.J. Jenkins. There on the coverage was Blake Countess, a true freshman. Here's attempt number 10. And guess who isn't intended for? A.J. Jenkins. I think the umpire got in his way, Justin. Empty backfield here for Shieldhouse. Pressure. Forced out of the pocket, and he goes down. Kenny Demons with the sack. Pollard averages over eight yards per carry. Takes it again, and this time he gets <laughs> drilled. Desmond Morgan. Huh. Oh, that's, that's a true freshman. <laughs> I don't care what, what class you are. This is bringing it. That's taking on a blocker and then smashing the ball carrier. Man, th that, that will be one of those that in the meeting rooms... Shieldhouse, the option, the toss to Pollard. And Pollard has nowhere to go. Jordan Kovacs drops him for a loss of four. Shieldhouse, he's going down. Ryan Van Bergen with the sack. A loss of 12 on the play. The last time that Illinois was in this same situation, Michigan's defensive line, look right here, okay? That's a lot of bodies there, but watch the number who drop out and only four come. So there's confusion up front. They don't know where it's coming from, and it's poor blocking and execution, and the results, again, another sack. Will Hogra on to punt. Lankford can't handle it. Loose ball. Looked like Michigan got there first. I'll tell you what's important about this is not only the turnover, but this clock in the third quarter is winding down, and this was a chance for the Illini to come out with the wind at their back, and they've done nothing with the wind at their back. On first down. Handoff, Tucson, and Tucson nearly broke a tackle. Tavon Wilson. Gardner, pressure, throws, finds his man, Junior Hemingway. First down, 20-yard completion to Hemingway. Devin Gardner's a big human being, 6'4", 205, and because of that, wasn't able, the defender wasn't able to bring him down on the outside for the sack, and this is a good job here, and that's, and that's Whitney Merciless who missed the opportunity for that sack. So we go now from 21 to 20, no, it's 27-yard field goal attempt. And he is good. Remember this quarter, they're going with the wind. Keeper by Shieldhouse. Shieldhouse to the end zone. Touchdown. <laughs> and off to Pollard. And Pollard picks up a couple yards up to the 44-yard line. Mike Martin there for the stop. Second down and eight here for Illinois. They were not in Michigan's territory the entire first half. They've been in the last two drives. Shieldhouse. This pass complete to John Davis. And Davis up to the 40-yard line. A pickup of four. Shieldhouse, the pass is picked off. 
Down the sideline goes Floyd. 42 yard return by JT Floyd. This is defending the line of scrimmage, what the next play will be for a first down, right? So JT Floyd is squatted over there on that line of scrimmage, and as soon as the ball comes out, he breaks on it, and, and, and JT Floyd has played one heck of a game. And, and you know, at some point, you got to go to somebody else in the passing game. It can't always be to A.J. Jenkins. At the Another turnover now. Great field position here for Michigan. Gardner, the handoff to Tucson. And Tucson gets hit in the backfield, wrapped up by Terry Hawthorne. Gardner steps up over the middle. Complete. Odoms. Touchdown. Twenty-seven yard touchdown pass to Martavius Odoms. You dare him? He steps up and makes the play. Don't dare Devin. Twenty-four to seven. I think this is how you avoid getting down in the red zone and, and stumbling. Score outside of the red zone. Big play. Michigan answers, takes advantage of a turnover. Up now, twenty-four to seven. See how they line up on, on second, third, and long and bail out. Shieldhouse on the run. Throws back across the field, and that is incomplete. Once again, was looking for A.J. Jenkins. Shieldhouse, that pocket collapsing on him. Back at the 50, gets taken down. All the way back at the 48-yard line, a loss of 16. Ryan Van Bergen and Mike Martin combined for the sack. You know what? When you have four motors that run as fast as Mike Martin, if you're not getting rid of the football, there's going to be a sack. And Nathan Schilhouse had nowhere to go. That's just that's good defensive line pressure. Now he's facing fourth and 26. Shieldhouse stepping up. The pass is complete to A.J. Jenkins. You know, this is what drives coaches crazy and fans crazy. I mean, he is right on the line when he lets that thing go. Wow. Yeah, that black line, he's right on it. 20 of 32 pass attempts towards Jenkins. Shieldhouse. Underneath, finds John Davis. Cool, composed, he'll perform. Third and goal. Ford, Ford gets into the end zone for the touchdown. And the onside's kick. A flag comes out. And it's recovered by Roy Roundtree for Michigan. Offside, kicking team, number 26. Five yards to be added to the end of the kick. First and 10, Michigan. Tucson up the middle. And Tucson has the first down. Up to the 27-yard line, picks up 13 on that carry. And, Craig, let's talk about Fitz Tucson. And Robinson's ability down in the red zone. Tucson again, flag on the play. He cuts it back. Tucson to the end zone. Touchdown. 27 yards, but let's see what this flag is for. Offside, defense, number 99, lined up in the neutral zone. The penalty's the climb. Touchdown. Well, I tell you what, let's let's show a little stop and start action here. Tucson, he's almost at 200 yards, but he's not tired. And that's stopping and starting on a dime. We used to call that leave your jock on the playground there. Somebody lost one. Nathan Shieldhouse 
He gets wrapped up and sacked by Ryan Van Bergen. Case Keenum keeps the beat going and gets them there. They might get in the conversation of having a chance to be in the BCS. Shieldhouse lost that ball. Incomplete was looking for Spencer Harris. But Shieldhouse scrambling and he gets hit. Courtney Avery steps up, makes the play. With the victory, Michigan will move to 8-2 on the season, 4-2 in Big Ten play. Illinois falls to 6-4, 2-4 in Big Ten play. And those four losses have come in succession for Illinois. Justin, enjoyed working with you, man. It was a lot of fun. Yeah. Thank you yeah, so you much. Come back and see us again. Anytime. My pleasure. And thank you to everybody for the hospitality. It's a lot of fun. Michigan defeats Illinois 31-14.